Hello and welcome to Next Big Future. I'm your host, Brian Wong. There is incredibly important competition for AI and basically that will affect the, the future of technology and, and the world. Um, this is something that the importance and speed of what's happening um, and the competition, it can be seen by the actions and statements of um, the world's richest, most powerful people. So now, you know, believe me, let's listen to things that Sam Alton says, and then also what Elon Musk says, and we'll come back and discuss what data and evidence we can analyze on this thing. Remain really important. It's going to be different for sure, but I think the only way out is through. We just have to go do this thing. It's going to happen. This is like now an unstoppable technological course. The value is too great. So what Sam Alton is referring to there is basically super AI. He talks about the world changing. He is CEO of OpenAI, which he co-founded with Elon Musk, and then took from a, a nonprofit into a for-profit thing. And he's allied with um, Microsoft. Microsoft is the main funder of OpenAI. Thus, he's talking with Bill Gates, although uh, the CEO is, is Sachin Nadal. Um, so he's saying it's super important. Um, he believes it's going to go next level. It's going to fully solve AI. It's going to change change the world. Um, and it, robotics is going to be a huge part of it. So that was in the statement. So I was just unpacking that just to get the highlight of the of his point. And then we have uh, uh, Elon Musk talking to Peter Diamandis. I think we navigate our uh, super AI. digital super intelligence. Well, the, the, the rate at which AI is growing is it really boggles the mind. Yeah. Um, so it, it currently seems as though the amount of compute dedicated to artificial intelligence is um, increasing by a factor of 10 roughly every six months. Um, it's, it's faster than annual, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I've... I recently heard today about a gigawatt class uh, AI uh, compute cluster. Wow. Um, that's, I think, it's being, being built in Kuwait or something to that effect. Um, and it's uh, like 700,000 um, V100s, uh, which, which is a couple generations above, two generations beyond yeah, the H100 yeah. that's currently in, in, in production. Yep. So this is a, a staggering amount of compute, um, and and there are many such such things. Uh, that's just the biggest one I've heard of so far. But there are there's a 500 megawatt installation happening. Um, there's and there's 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 multiple 100 100 megawatt installations. Um, okay, so the key point there, uh, AI resources growing at 10 times every six months, which would be 100 times every year. Um, gigawatt system, 500 megawatt systems using, um, you know, 700,000 B100s. B100 is won't even be introduced until maybe October, November of this year from NVIDIA. The H100 that exists now are about thirty dollars to $50,000 each. Um, NVIDIA makes about 2 million of them a year. And um, they're, they're critical for all the players um, uh, developing... Um, Developing AI. Um, so let's uh, go into um, a, a deck where I describe this, and we can take a. Uh... So as um, uh, Sam Altman said, basically paraphrasing that AI bot bot is too valuable. It's an unstoppable technological course, and so it's there's a inevitable battle going on and it is too valuable in his belief. So is it going to be done in a few years? Um, very rapidly, it's unclear, but the the richest people in the world, the most, uh, uh, the, the technological leaders are all proceeding under the assumption that it can be done and it can be done relatively soon and just needs a lot of resources, just like the progress to get to uh, GPT-4 and, and soon GPT-5. So, also, there have been battles for control of the board of OpenAI. Um, that was a few months ago. Elon just said he needs uh, more voting control of Tesla, which you can say, oh, well, this, he's just being greedy. Like that. He lost control of OpenAI uh, to Sam Altman and Microsoft. So it's not like it hadn't happened before. So, and 
the total solution for AI is kind of can be analogous to the Infinity Gauntlet, where in the Marvel movie they can do anything. So that's kind of what's happening. Um, I think 2024 is the year of human bot, and it could be the year of AGI as well. And here we have a Tesla bot and the figure AI. Figure has about $100 million in funding. Also made a pure neural net system. So we're in a humanoid bot race as part of the overall artificial intelligence race. Previously, over $100 billion has been spent on self-driving cars, even though we haven't gotten to fully self-driving cars. There was the belief of something too valuable, self-driving cars. And so huge amounts were devoted uh, and still being devoted to achieving that goal. The minimum poker bet ante for being in the AI competition seems to be on the order of $2 billion per year, and it could be increasing. Again, that was the, the amount going into self-driving cars. Major players, top players, out of like four dozen, um, were spending about $2 billion a year. The minor players spending less. Um, you can achieve a huge gain with, with um, less money, but clearly it's, it's harder if you're resource constrained. Also, it's a matter of using the AI, making them useful, and then making them profitable. And we'll discuss... Um, how that's been playing out in these large language models and with uh, self-driving, and then discussing the, the aspects of compute, data, energy supply chain, and profit. We have to create a not just a compute and data flywheel, you know, getting better and better, but you have to then make it profitable. So who has leading AI? Who has large language model, your chat GPT type system, quality and monetization? I, I feel that you can't just talk about a really good system that you spent a bunch of money on and then um, can't really make money on it. Um, so who, who are the players? Um, we can kind of get a proxy for this based on who has bought their H100 chips. And see 150,000 chips for, for Meta, Facebook, 150,000 chips for Microsoft, and Microsoft and OpenAI are, are as one. And you have Google with their DeepMind. They also have their own TPUs. So they have other their own custom chips, Amazon 50,000, Oracle 50,000. Um, Larry Ellison is the second largest shareholder in, in Tesla. He's on the board. And so his uh, H100 chips are also Tesla's H100 chips. So they own Tesla down 15,000. Really, they have access to 65,000, and they will then also have access to their dojo. Um, being in the range, like you don't have to be lean, because we don't think Facebook is a leader in large language model, even they have a 2000 chip, they have good large language models, but the leaders seem to be OpenAI, Microsoft, and Google, you know, with Google's Gemini are, are the leaders. So just having a uh, compute does not make you uh, the winning leader. It can get you competitive. And then we see Tencent, Corwe, Baidu, et cetera, down, down below, and Anthropic and TikTok. So there are, we see, um, about three, four, four Chinese related players out of this um, top top group. Um, so again, OpenAI and Microsoft is clearly leading large language models, Google DeepMind slash Gemini leading. Um, but the, the positioning is changing. And then Facebook does have solid systems. X and um, XAI with Grok, you know, is monetizing. Um, and terms of monetization, um, you know, Microsoft is clearly weaving it into their products and, and making more money by making their products better with AI. And then Google is also making their search better with AI. So, uh, and then monetization wise, XAI is trying, trying to monetize as well. Um, but clearly the leading monetization is uh, open at Microsoft and Google. So then let's discuss the self-driving aspect of things. Who's leading self-driving? Again, quality of system and monetization. If we include monetization, then there's only Tesla because people can say, oh, the, the liar system's pretty good. We have like a thousand or you know a few hundred Waymos that are driving around with in robo-taxi mode, but they're making a few million dollars in, in rides. They're giving like a few hundred thousand rides, charging with five, $10 a piece for those rides. And, and it's not much money relative to the two, $3 million a year. If I make $3 million, but it cost me $3 million, I'm losing a crap ton of money. And then that scaling doesn't happen. Like, a robot taxi is not magic. It, it can, you can drive it three times more than a regular car. It still has to be there. The, the vehicle has to be there to pick you up. You know, the AI doesn't teleport it around. So it can only be three to five times more efficient. So 
if I want to get to Uber levels of profitability, then I need 6 million cars. Uh, well, 6 million cars on a, on a uh, for, for Uber with drivers. But if I could get double, three times the productivity from the robotaxi, besides the fact that my margin is higher because I'm not paying the driver, that's still only 2 million cars to get to Uber, right? And all these um, players are at, at uh, you know, 1,000 or less currently. Um, and maybe a Chinese player like Apollo has rolled out more than 1,000. They're trying to get to 10,000, 100,000. But to get to that number, you need to spend $10 million to buy the vehicles, buy the LiDAR, which don't exist. There's only like um, enough LiDAR for 10,000 cars per year. Um, so they just supply chain limitations. That. So Tesla has sold like 400,000 or, or 500,000 versions of the FSD at $12,000 a piece or something like that. So they're making billions of dollars from that and from autopilot from driver assist. So then humanoid bot, who are the players? There's Sanctuary AI, of course, there's Tesla, there's Figure, and they both have about $100 million. Agility Robotics is making a factory to make 10,000 bots. All of them, I think, are working with Amazon and other players. So there's, we're still getting to true quality on the humanoid bot. They're doing useful demos, but they have not gotten to uh, a high value case yet. Uh, key AI partners with the AI startups, Anthropic, many of them be acquired or become key players. NVIDIA is supplying the chips and then AMD and Samsung start supplying it. And the key is also big money because this is gonna be a super high stakes game that can ultimately involve trillions of dollars. So you have to create your flywheel of profitability in order to get to that kind of money. So who's important? Meta is clearly important, we saw that. Amazon has millions or a million of these uh, Kiva Roomba-like things that move around um, shelves in their uh, warehouses and distribution points. Apple clearly has the money and uh, resources that could make it big, but they have not gotten big yet. They're gonna, there's, there's gonna be some announcements of their AI efforts. China's clearly big. We saw four or five companies in the leading um, uh, Chinese tech companies involved in AI. China as a country will devote energy resources uh, to, to make this work. Clearly, there's a Kuwait player involved, as we heard from Elon. And we're, the spending is going to be $100 billion to $1 trillion plus on this. So we see figure AI uh, using a bot to make uh, coffee and using a coffee machine. It's all neural nets. Um, we, we saw the video of um, Tesla bot um, folding laundry. So they're doing tasks and assuming these are all solvable problems, then it is a matter of devoting the resources, gaining the speed and making it profitable. Uh, the ease with which these things can be done was seen by three Stanford students uh, making, spending only a few tens of thousands of dollars to do many tasks. Some of these are teleoperated, teleoperated, you see a person working like joystick controls on it, but then they also do purely automated tasks. Um, they do like 50 training exercises to get to like 90% um, uh, efficiency on the tasks. So it just shows that it doesn't take that much effort, that much uh, data and training to make a lot of progress and to get to um, highly um, high levels of success on a task. So we're going to rack up the tasks. We're going to get to 1,000 the tasks, and these things will be applied in places uh, where it's useful. Uh, the large language models are basically large behavioral models for robots. So there's a you know comparable level of um, uh, a mapping between large language models, which were created in GPT, and what's going to go into robotics. And clearly, robotics place, replacing all labor is a bigger thing. And also it can take industrialization to the next level. Industrialization from the 1800s, um, late 1800s through to today, grew our world economy by a hundred times. So that's the kind of scale impact we have where you know we could increase the world economy if things went faster. Instead of hundred years, 120 years to go hundred times, it could go hundred times in 50. Um, so that's basically like going like 10x every decade or something like that. Um, and then the plenty of other people like Toyota trying to create thousands of skills. So the race is clearly on to uh, 
to make this happen. The resources are there. The belief in the leaders that this is the unstoppable technological course is there. So with that, we, we'll be able to look at uh, evidence of the action of what's been happening and how, how this battle will, will change. Clearly, OpenAI and Microsoft are going all in on super AI. They believe it's going to happen. They believe it is an unstoppable thing. And then clearly Elon believes that as well. And Tesla is, is going all in on that. And so it's going to be, be, being a winner in the robotaxi is important, but it's really the winner of a super AI in a humanoid form. That that is the biggest prize. Of it. It's like 10 times bigger than, than robotaxi. And then it'll get even bigger as it grows the world economy. And, and Elon and Sam are saying it's going to be good, um, but we, it, we have to do it and then we have to figure out how to adapt and, and make that happen. So all the debates about, you know, is it safe, is it whatever, we're going to have to figure it out and figure it out you know, very fast. So that is you know, evidence from actions, billions of dollars being bet on this thing, tens of billion dollars, and that's going to be the start. It's going to head up to, to trillions. Um, it's going to shape everything that uh, we ha that happens in business and in our lives, and we'll discuss that more and explore that more as we as things develop, and uh, as we are able to analyze more about what's happening. So, thank you for for joining me. Please uh, like and subscribe. Join me on Patreon. Read my site, Next Big Future, and I'll see you next time.